Hey there, everybody. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I wanted to uh, paint some Christmas baubles this morning. This is a Diane Anton idea. Diane has, like, I think she's on her 18th uh, card design, her watercolor card design. So do hop on over to dianeanton.com and check her out. These are really, really easy to do. And I thought they would be like a really awesome thrifty Christmas craft. I've got mine in various, various stages of doneness, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, I'm going to show you the technique, but here is one drying, and it has salt sprinkled on it. The only thing you're going to need, y'all, is some paint, a brush, water, salt if you choose, and some round thing. So I'm using this for a round thing. This, this one is drying. This one is dried. So I want to take the salt off this and show you guys the, the really wonderful textures that you get. And these are salt-free, and I've started to embellish these. So we'll go through all three steps. The first thing that you want to do is to grab some paper. I did find that uh, watercolor paper does do great for you know, this watercolor technique, but do what you want, you know, grab anything that you want. I'm one of these people who never lets <laughs> the lack of something get in the way of me having some fun. And I think that's a, that's a really good, um, good thought to go into the holidays here because, uh, I just, I never let anything stop me. If I don't have a tool, then I'll figure something out. If I don't have pain, I'll figure something out. I did gift myself with uh, a Kiritaki paint set that I got for practically free by using um, a Bing search engine. <laughs> and it's really easy. They have surveys and uh, you can do games and puzzles and things like that, and you get Amazon points, which is really awesome. All right, let's get started. I've uh, got my Kuretake set out here, and I'll put a Bing search engine like uh, link in the description box below because that will help you, you know, on your journey to get something like this, which for me is way cost prohibitive. I uh, generally just cannot. Um, purchase things like this but with a being search engine then you have all kinds of uh, of opportunities like I said to uh, to amass new <laughs> points it does take a while to get your Amazon gift certificate but it always works well and it's always fun I'm using a bit of ultramarine to stamp the outside of of my baubles so there we go with one. Here's a trick. So you stamp the circle and you're gonna wet the inside. And you can see how pretty that's coming along. Uh, guys, if you research this, you'll find lots of people have different techniques for, uh, for creating Christmas balls or Christmas baubles or whatever. I like this technique simply because it's Diane Anton, and I love her. She's funny. She's our age. She lives on a farm. She's British. What's not to love? All right, here's number two. Let's go back in here. I'm just gonna fill in. Are you seeing this okay? If you are finding this fun, please remember you can say thanks by just clicking the thanks tab underneath the video. That really does help me. We're all kind of in that, you know, in that boat. Uh, and we need thriftiness and we need little bits and bobs coming in. I'm going to pick up a different color and just drop it in here. So I've got a pretty wet brush. I think my color to drop in is going to be this indigo. I really do love the indigo look when you um, 
when you drop it into the ultramarine. I just think it's really super pretty. I got my Kiritake set, like I said, using a Bing search engine. I'll put a link in the description box below, but it's a great way to collect Amazon gift cards. The next thing that I'm going to do here is just kind of lift out a little bit of this watercolor. But if you don't have a Kiritake set, use what you got. You know, use uh, acrylics if you don't have watercolor. Use, man, I found the greatest paint set at Dollar General. And they have, you know, they really do have a nice selection of art and craft supplies there. Um, I think it was like five bucks. It was super cheap. Stamp. Rinse. Uh, you might find tutorials that are using TP rolls to do this, which is really super cool too. It's kind of just mesmerizing to observe the way that the paint and the water move together. I love things like that. Right. And I'm doing two at a time because that allows me to, you know, really pick up that edge there and kind of squash it in. And then because it's wet, I have a lot of leeway as to what I want to do with it. Okay, so we've done our ultramarine. We're picking up a little bit of indigo. I'm really just tapping this on here. And you can see what happens um, as the paint moves into the paper and the water. It does different things. I kind of like this, like this, this kind of swirl effect that just happened and I don't know how. I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not going to lift out any paint like I did on the two that are up top here. So we're just going to paint around here. We'll do two more. If you splash things around and you get all splooshy with stuff, don't worry about it. It's just a bauble. Move this around. I'm going to stand up for a minute. <clears throat> It's been dry here, and what I mistook for maybe a cold is um, <clears throat> like sinus, you know, when, it, when the air gets really, really dry. My paint water is pretty. So here we are. Our next step is going to be to take the same shape. I'm going to kind of wipe some paint away from it. This is, uh, and Diane points this out as well, it's so much fun to do with kids. Um, I don't, I have grand doggies and grand kitties. I don't have grand kids, but it would be a fun thing to do with a grandchild or a child. All right, I've got this on my fingers, which is not good. Uh, I'm gonna kind of switch hands here, and then we're going to just do the best we can to kind of get that. And we've got, we're gonna have one more little stamping project for these. So pay attention, because it is the, uh, it's like, it what make, it's what makes the difference in, in these totally. Please watch Diane's video because she has a much better explanation for the techniques that she's using and she's fun to listen to and she's awesome and, uh, you know, I, th I think I have <clears throat> reviewed her attributes. She's, I just love her. She's awesome. Okay. 
So you can see that the, you, you see the black paint like moving into the bobble. I mean, remember these don't have to be black. They can be whatever color you want. You know, you can do red or green or, to me, these kind of had like a celestial look and I'm into celestial things. I have one more celestial journal in the Etsy store and I've reduced that to $35 with three free shipping. So do go check that out. All right, now we've got one more layer to put on. So let's clean our template. Um, uh, Diane used gold Kuretake paint. I don't have gold Kuretake paint. I have yellow ochre and that's what I'm gonna use. <clears throat> and this is like the crowning thing that makes so much difference here. And it's so pretty when you put it on there. So you can see that that just kind of halos what you've been doing. So you know, create a halo, right? Also, if you do your, your stamping in, in my technique does not have to be like specific, right? And I think the yellow ochre works just fine. I don't have trouble with it. I think it's kind of perfect. As my little boy would say, when he was little, he would go, that's perfect. He is 37 and my older son is 44. Hard to believe, but it's true. All right. And there we go. Now we've got our yellow going on in there, our yellow ochre. Go back and just kind of wet here. This is one of those things that you can do with any kind of brush, any way you want. You can use a big brush or a little brush or whatever. I am going to try and just kind of define these lines a little bit going around here, but again, you know not necessary they to me when i did my first batch like this they look like planets you know they kind of look like the earth in a way really love 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 this technique i'm gonna put some salt on these i'm using regular table salt you can use coarse salt whatever and I do, you don't have to use salt, y'all. You can, can do whatever you want. Okay, so we've got our salt down. Now, let's just pretend like this has dried. And then, let's scooch this over here. And I'm going to wipe the, uh, it does have to dry a long time. I, I'll let mine dry overnight just because I didn't want to um, screw anything up here. All right, okay, let's brush the salt away. So, you know, if you're gonna do this, you need to really let it dry. I tried to blow the salt away. I tried to brush it away. The best thing to do is just to use a paper towel because it does get like a little ensconced in the in the paint, you know. There we go. I'm going to put this in the trash. All right. Now you got some gorgeous bobbles, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to finish them off. Diane did, uh, she took gold Kuretake paint and did a little um, 
you know, like that little um, finial kind of thing at the top. I did not have, like I said, I don't have gold. I used a Sharpie. This is from Dollar Tree, and they have uh, gold, bronze, and silver Sharpies, and they work great. So let's, um, let me grab my glasses, and let's get the little finial caps on here. And they're really easy. Let's kind of trace them in. And to give them like a painterly effect, I did not color them in. I just sort of put the top like that. And we'll sketchy that out a little bit more. These would make super fun little gifts to stick in a greeting card. They'd be really fun to use as gift tags. They would be really fun to uh, give to your neighbors. Just, you know, stick them in the mailbox. If you're looking for a thrifty last minute gift for family, friends, associates, work folks, this makes a great last minute gift. All right, we've got our little finial thing on there. I'm using a worn out uh, Sharpie ultra fine point marker. I take these and I I'll put a sticker on it just so I know that it's not a juicy Sharpie, that it is uh, on its way to, um, to better places. It's going to cross the Rainbow Bridge at some point, but I love to use them to scratch into surfaces. So that's that's what I'm gonna do now. You can see that I've got these started right here. So let's just kind of go up here. And you can see that the pen really just barely works. And I like it like that. To me, it looks super cool. All right, and then we're going to Just trace around here. And you can see how gorgeous these crackles are. It makes it look like an old vintage Christmas ball. Um, Diane suggests that you can put uh, you know, you can put some circles in here or spirals or whatever. I haven't experimented that far with this technique yet. But I think that that is like a super cool idea to do something like this. Like that. All right. I'm going to finish this up. And this is what it will look like when it's almost finished. can see that I've kind of scritchy scratched around these and they look really great. I like the way that the lifting out the paint with a paper towel really did work. You can make a Christmas card. Now, this is how Diane did a, a Christmas card. Diane's like on her 18th Christmas card for the season, and she shows you like how to um, how to paint it. <laughs> She's just so intriguing. I'm gonna cut these out just like this. And my idea is to make them look something like this. And it will be like a super cool thing to just put in my Christmas cards this year. You can put a hole in the top and use them for gift tags. 
Looks like the possibilities are just totally endless. You could also drop the top, the finial thing, and just make the round circle and use it for mixed media, right? And you could do different things with it. <clears throat> Let's cut this one out. I love the, the watercolor technique, you know, just kind of the dropping, dropping water into the middle of this and then dropping more colors in. I love the way that it blends. It's like, you know, magic. We can all use a little bit of magic this time of year. Sometimes you gotta look real hard to find that magic this time of year. There we go. So we have two smaller ones and a couple of bigger ones. So there we go. This is something you can totally do, y'all. It's really easy. All you need is some paint and water and a paintbrush and some salt. And that's about it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.